Hi, I'm David Gross, back with you again to share one of my 101 tips and tricks for sublimation success. In the Sublimation Almanac for 2010, I wrote the end piece and I posted 101 tips and tricks for sublimation success. This is tip number 58. It's a very common question that I get and it regards Corel Draw. And for people like me and probably for you, you may be familiar with Corel Draw. You may have used it for many years. Um, I started using Corel back when it was Corel Draw 6. A lot of people were, were of course, before I was. And, and they're curious about what's the upgrade strategy, should I upgrade mine, things like that. First is, I generally recommend that you upgrade your Corel Draw. Today, as I'm shooting this video, we're sitting at Corel Draw X5, which is, of course, version 15. Version 15 is turning out to be really good. Great version, love it. And there's a couple of reasons why you may want to consider upgrade, and there's a couple of reasons why you should absolutely upgrade. So let's go over those first. First, Corel Draw makes it easy to upgrade. The upgrade fee for an upgrade is fairly inexpensive. I think it's like $160. You can go to Corel.com, download a Corel X5 version, a trial copy for 30 days, fully function, check it out. And then you can do the, the online activation. Again, I just can't quite remember what the price, but somewhere like that. Now, when you upgrade or install a new version of Corel, it has no effect on your, your old version. In fact, there, in my opinion, there's no really such thing as an upgrade. It's the full version. They're just selling you it at a reduced cost because you've got an old serial number. So the upgrade is not an upgrade. It's not upgrading anything. It won't affect your old versions. And in fact, you're probably foolish to uninstall your old versions. You should keep those because of just strange, quirky file compatibilities that happen sometimes. Okay. So upgrading it, I think, is simple, it's easy, and, and it's, it, I think it's low cost. Now, you definitely should upgrade your, your version of Corel if you're handling, um, say, Adobe Illustrator files, because as they upgrade their version, the older versions aren't going to work with the newer versions of Illustrator. We're sitting at Illustrator CS5. You're not going to be open, you're not going to be able to open uh, an Illustrator CS5 in a Corel X3. It's just not going to work. It's not going to have compatibility. Plus, if you're handling PDFs um, and you're using progressively, your clients are using newer versions of Acrobat, possibly even Acrobat Professional, you need that newer version of Corel to open newer versions of Acrobat. So there's just, there's lots of good reasons to upgrade. It's painless, it's easy to do, um, and I think it, the, the, the price is right. So I, I definitely recommend you keep your, your version of Corel upgrade, uh, Corel version uh, upgrade. Always ask, of course, you know, um, people who are using it, try not to be on the bleeding edge. People get burned. I stay on the bleeding edge because that's just what people expect. Another thing to talk about in Corel X5 is in a previous video, I think, we talk about Corel X5's color management. They did a complete rewrite of color management. It's from scratch, okay? And it's completely different, works different. Um, we posted documents to show you how to set your profiles in there. I think it's great. I think it works well. I like it. Um, it's, it's a little bit more like Illustrator and Photoshop, but I think they did it right. And, and so um, most of the time, it automatically figures out what the profile we should use when we print. Really like it, okay? So I hope this tip has been useful. I recommend you keep your Corel version upgraded. Um, it gives you the maximum file compatibility. It won't bother your old Corel. And so let me know if I can be of help. Email me with your comments or questions. My email is dgross at condi.com. Look forward to working with you. Thank you.